Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay. So, using a little story time, I think. <laughs> um, so, as I've mentioned on this uh, channel before, I have two little adorable gerbils, not not these two behind me, unfortunately these two behind me have passed. Um, I don't currently have any nice photos of my two current little gerbils, um, but I have two, two less than a year old little gerbils um, who I allow to live in more of an enclosure than, than these two had, um, but it's kind of like an open roof enclosure, so I guess some of you may now be aware of roughly the direction this is going to be going in. Um, so I've noticed a little bit of unusual activity. Um, I keep a tub which has their mealworms in it um, on a little bit of a shelf next to where their enclosure is. And I've been noticing occasionally I would come in in the morning and find it on the floor. And I was like, I'm not, am I knocking it over and not realising it before I go to bed at night? Um, am I like putting it in a place where it's a little bit unbalanced? Um, are they like knocking into it or something? Um, no, 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 that, that wasn't it. <laughs> no. Um, one of them, the mischievous little, mischievous little ripe eye. Um, had been getting herself out at night and putting herself away again, which is kind of the more interesting part of this story, I think. Um, so I'd sort of become a bit aware that it might be a possibility that she was getting out um, a few weeks ago when I woke up in the morning uh, to go to work and she came over to me. Running, running along the floor, and now I was like, oh, hmm, how, how did you get out? Um, so the night before had been one of my movie nights with, with my friends, so I did think maybe I hadn't put her away properly because I closed the enclosure on the later side of things, and the the way things are sort of set up, um, it's possible for them to like go underneath uh, some of the stuff and you not to notice. So I did wonder if maybe I'd accidentally let her, left her out overnight. Um, so obviously I, I captured her and then I put her back in. Um, and then, as I said, I started noticing that this jar was... And I started, I think I kind of noticed it before that point, but this is when I really started to notice that it that was quite often on the floor. Um, when, I, when I was getting up in the morning. Um, so then one evening I kind of heard something and like I quite often hear noises and because like I'm such a light sleeper anyway I do sort of try to ignore a lot of it and try not to be paranoid about it but I was like hmm I wonder if that was a jar falling over because like I'm trying to work out what's causing this jar to fall over anyway and so I was like oh, I wonder if that was a jar falling over so I got up and the jar had indeed fallen over and I was like I wonder why the jar fell over and I started hearing this little scratchy noise sort of down where there should not be a scratchy noise. And I went and I investigated and I found the naughty little thing. So I was like, alright, okay. So I caught her and I got her back in. And then a little while later, because at this point I wasn't sure if I'd, I'd accidentally left her out again. And a little while later, I heard the jar fell over. I heard, I heard, I heard the jar fell over again. At that point I knew she was getting herself out. <laughs> Um, so I decided to up, like, the areas of weakness, thinking, okay, this might be where, they, where she's getting out from, this might be where she's getting out from, this might, might be where she's getting out from, so I, I raised those little, those little levels a little bit, um, and just waited to see what would happen. Um, I didn't hear the jar fall for a little bit, and every single morning she was, she was in the enclosure, so I was like, okay, so pretty sure she's not getting herself out of them pretty sure um but in that in that time as well i decided to reset up the um security cam that i got to watch over them um but basically 
basically one of my uh, internet update, like when I changed my internet provider, um, I didn't move the camera onto the new system um, because I was like, well, I'm not really using it. Um, and I realised, no, actually, I, I need to be using it. So, <laughs> um, just to find out what was going on. And I started getting the evidence of, of seeing her out. But, like, the way it works, um, it wasn't capturing her getting out. It was capturing her once she was out. So it's like it wasn't picking up on like the movements that I needed. So I was like, okay, I, I, I still can't work out how she's getting out. She's getting under under the door bit that I've created. Like she like I I I, I was fairly certain she wasn't getting over the door bit that I created because like that was quite a bit of a of a jump um, at that point in time, especially with like nothing sort of really built up around it. Um, so I didn't like I don't know. I sort of partially thought maybe she was getting over it. Um, but like it, it felt more likely that she was getting under it. Um, so I, again, I like reinforced the defenses. Um, and then that night, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay up and I'm just gonna watch. So I know roughly the sort of time she's been getting herself out. Like basically, like roughly the sort of time. As I said, she's been getting herself back in. Like every single morning, she's been back in there. Um, which is why it was so baffling. I was like, how, how is she getting? Like I, I've seen her like jump herself back in. But I was like, okay, how? <laughs> Like she's not even trying to run away. She just wants to just she just wants to explore. She just wants to explore. That's all she wants to do. She's not like trying to escape. She just like wants to have a little bit more of a run around. Um. So yeah, I, I stayed up a little bit later, and I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna watch the camera because the camera's not showing me the thing that I need to see. I'm just, I'm just gonna watch the camera. And lo and behold, she was getting over the door. <laughs> so. I, I came out and um, whilst I was trying to recapture her, I was like, she's not, she just wanted to play a bit. Like, she's like, she's not worried about me at all. Like, I will literally like sit there and she'll come up and she'll go all the way around me and she'll climb on me. But the second I go to pick her up, she'll dart away. Um, so she's not worried about me. She's not afraid of me. Like, and then like, even after like I've tr unsuccessfully tried to pick her up, she'll come back to me. So like, she's not like, She's not not trying to get, get captured, but at the same time, she's not trying to get captured. Um, so at the moment, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a little bit more used to being handled, so that if, because she manages to find her way onto the floor a lot um, when she's out and about anyway, uh, when I'm supervising her, so I, I need to sort of uh, make, make her a bit more accustomed to being picked up if she's going to be a bit more of a troublemaker. Um, uh, anyway, um... So yeah, I, I, I watched her leap over the door, so I, I, I came out, um, and by the time I'd come out, she made it to the floor, which is a bit harder for, for capturing her. She was still on the couch, it would have been a lot easier, uh, but she made it to the floor, so like, so whilst I was sort of like waiting for her to sort of stop like scurrying behind things and sort of like come out where I could get to her, um, I raised the, the, the side of the door. Um, it seems to have worked, like the camera is still set up and it's not revealed anything um else has happened yet um but my ultimate goal is to replace what i've got there now with something a little bit taller um i'm, I'm not sure exactly when <laughs> probably in the next couple of weeks uh but just to sort of like raise that level up a little bit just so that it's a bit more just a little bit more secure um so i don't have to worry um whilst i'm away um but yeah, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of her having made out again since I raised the door. So I think the door was definitely where she was getting out from. <laughs> I'm hoping the door was where she was getting out from. My life would be so much easier if that's where she was getting herself out from. And I've managed to sort of save the problem. Um, certainly, she can't get back in through that method anymore. Um, and I don't think any of the other locations are safe enough for her to get back in through and as I said I've not picked up on anything on the camera and it is sort of like facing that area that would be the problem area that would be the telltale area if she was still managing to get herself out that way um so I'm fairly fairly certain that I fixed the issue but I said I need to get the like the level to it sort of raised um I just need to sort of buy the thing that I need to do that and I just haven't bought it yet um mostly because like my money is like <laughs> I've spent so much money at the beginning of this year and I don't want to spend more money <laughs> like the stuff is not going to be that expensive but it still it's not it's still another one of those cases of well, I don't uh, don't really have to 
like she's not getting herself out at the moment but like for my own peace of mind I, I will need to sort of do it eventually um that's because she's going to she's going to learn she's she's going to learn to jump that distance at some point so I need it sort of like a little bit higher than that just just as I said just for my own peace of mind more than anything else um either that or she's going to find a way of chewing through the cardboard and get me out that way so <laughs> like yeah that, that's the other thing I mean it'll look tidier once I sort of have like the the stuff that I'm planning to get in place, um, it will be I think a little bit more see through, so it'll be easy to sort of like see them like in the enclosure. Like the the way what how I've got it set up now, it's not necessarily the best way anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that will sort of like definitely fix the problem. For now, it's sort of like it's definitely been temporarily fixed. I just need to sort of get it a little bit more permanently fixed. Um, but yeah, that's that's like as I said, interesting story time um for any pet owners out there. Um, as I said, like the other thing I could do is like find a way of like top closing the enclosure, and I'd 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 rather not sort of do that. Um, in terms of ventilation, um, it's better to sort of have it open top as I've got it now. Um. Because of like all the layers, layers, because of all the leveling and stuff in it, it's better to be open top because like it would be difficult to get a top on it um, with the setup as it is now. Although then again, I would like alter certain things so it would make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, in terms of like ventilation, so that they're not becoming too smelly, it's better to have it sort of open top. Like even if like I had wire mesh, like, I mean that would be fine. But again, it would also sort of make it a little bit more awkward for cleaning, and like that's that's my major concern is that having the sides raised a little bit more is going to make it more awkward for cleaning, which I think is the other reason why I'm putting off making the security a bit tighter. Um, I just need her to get bored of going on to the floor. That's what I need, um, and I'm hoping by taking away that option as much as possible and making sure she's not ending up on the floor as as much as she has been. Um, she'll like forget that it's something that she wants to do and she'll stop like doing it or wanting to do it um who knows who knows she's she's a wily little one she's a wily little one my sister on the other hand is perfectly well behaved and it like it amuses me because like i i'll put treats out for both of them and not a little rye pie we'll just take all the treats just, just all the treats um, so I'll then sort of like give, like specifically give Sal Belle some of her own treats and she'll take them and she'll hide them and a few minutes later you'll see Rye Pie running off with it <laughs> and I'm like, oh, uh, poor Sal Belle, you're so well behaved, you're such a good girl and your sister is just terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, they're both adorable, really. And as I said, I just need to get Rye Pie, I think, a bit more used to being handled so that she's a little bit easier to sort of capture when I need to. Um, I mean, Mew used to get out the... managed to get herself out on occasion, and she was very easy to sort of get hold of when you needed to, mostly because she was so used to being handled. Um, as I said, I've sort of done things a little bit differently with these two uh, because the, the setup has been very different and my interactions with them have been very different. But I've realised that you know if she's going to keep being a bit troublesome, then I need to make sure that I'm able to recapture her easier than I have been. Um, it's never going to be 100% easy, um, especially because she's a lot younger than than you was like towards the end anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a case of like, uh, I will I will get it all sorted eventually. At the moment, the temporary measures seems to be good enough. Um, I might sort of just keep it like that for a little while, at least until I've like cleaned them out next, because <laughs> it'll be easier. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also like, yeah, no, I really want them to be like properly secured before I go away. Um, unfortunately, the thing that I've seen is on Prime anyway, so I could do it. I, yeah, I could very easily do it where I, I clean them up and then buy the stuff and then get it secured very easily just because of like the timing of things. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I wanted to, I could I could play it that way around. But then yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's very much that situation where it's kind of like this is annoying 
thing because I like the set up the way that they've got it. I like that it's open top. I like that, you know, I'm giving them like a certain level of trust and freedom, but at the same time, it's not good for Rye Pie to be constantly making it difficult. So I do need to make sure that she's not doing that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Naughty Durbles will be naughty. All right, okay, um, I hope you found this film sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.